bruv, you are having a bubble. If you guys need coins and need them instantly, check out FIFA coins stuck down in the description. There's a discount code on the screen you can use, R9 Roy. Yo, what's going on people and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you guys some hidden players that are currently in Ultimate Team. Well, in the database that will probably be released in this coming month when EA do the transfers for transferred players. That's what usually happens. There's some hidden players in the database with zero card weight. What is zero card weight, you may ask? Zero card weight means these players are currently in the database but actually not in Ultimate Team itself. So they're not in packs. That's what zero card weight means. That could have been because of maybe they didn't complete a transfer just in time before FIFA 15. Or they were at a club that are not in FIFA 15. So I hope that clears that up. So yeah guys, if you enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like rating. If you don't enjoy it, drop a dislike and tell me why. But the first player is a popular player from previous FIFAs. We have Marcio Azevedo. You may know him for his 5 star skill moves and being a left back, a defender with 5 star skills. How insane would that be if he's added in? Well he probably will be added in because he's in the database and when EA do transfers they like to add in some of these zero card weight players since he plays for Shakhtar and they did this like for example with Paul Pogba in FIFA 12 if you do remember. He came out with an insane bronze card when they did the January transfers in FIFA 12 and yeah, he was one of those zero card weight players. But Azevedo will be one of those players, will be so expensive, obviously, because he has five star skills, will be the only defender with five star skills. He plays for Shakhtar, he gets a hyperlink with another epic five star skiller who is Douglas Costa. So that'll be absolutely incredible to use. You can see Marcia Azevedo's actual stats on the screen there. And uh, yeah, it looks incredible. 81 pace, 70 defending, and 76 physical for a left back with five star skills. Yes, that's going to be absolutely incredible to use. Now, obviously, you can see on the screen. When you type Marcio Azevedo in Ultimate Team, he actually shows up, but when you search for him, uh, nothing comes up because he's not actually been added into Ultimate Team. So yeah, EA will probably add in Marcio Azevedo in the next coming weeks when they do the transfer, so that'll be quality. But yeah guys, if you know any other players like this that do exist in the database, please do comment down below. And if I get enough, I'll make another video on this showing you guys the players that you suggested that are actually in the database because I can't actually find them all. It's pretty impossible. The next one is Florent Maludi. You can see on the screen again, you type his name in, he comes up, but when you search for him, you know, you can't find him on the market because EA haven't added him in yet. So yeah, Maluda is next. The former Chelsea man actually has some okay stats. 80 dribbling, he has 76 shooting, he actually has 4 star skills in game as well. That's his actual card on the screen you can see there. He actually plays for a French club in Liga 1. So we'll probably get transferred to that team very, very soon. So yeah, Florent Maluda, you guys may remember him from his Premier League years. Yeah, uh, would you use him in Ultimate Team? A left midfielder, French, uh, pretty much a legend. You could say he's 35 years old now or 36. And his card on Ultimate Team is still looking decent, if you ask me. I might actually give that a go when he actually comes out. The next player I found was Jonathan Agudelo, the Colombian Silver who looks okay, I guess. Nothing special in his stats. Obviously, he's got 82 pace. He has three-star skills in game. But yeah, he's another player that's in the database when you search him up. But he doesn't really look anything special, if you ask me. So yeah, those are the three players I could find, guys. If there's any more, make sure you comment down below. And there's a player on the screen, Victor Valdez. Maybe EA will surprisingly add in Victor Valdez. Now he's joined Manchester United because he was a free agent before FIFA 15 actually came out. I don't know whether they've got him in the database or not. Probably not, seeing as if you search for him on Ultimate Team, he's actually not there, but how, do EA have the ability to actually add in new players? With all the technology going around, I think they have. So, uh, yeah, maybe we'll be seeing Victor Valdez there. Uh, you can see he's predicted 83 card as well. So, yeah, it'd be pretty awesome to have uh, Victor Valdez back in Ultimate Team. But that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you know any other of these hidden players on Ultimate Team, please do comment down below and maybe I'll make another video discussing some of the other players as well. So, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to drop a like. If you didn't enjoy it, drop a dislike. Tell me why in the comments section. Check out my previous video if you missed it, which was about the team of the year reserves and should EA add them into packs. That'll be in the description down below. But anyway, guys, I'll see you in a bit. Look, I be like, what's really good? Say you're a gangster, what's really good? Say you're a top then what's really good? Them man are talking, what's really good? Dilly, 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 what's really good? Say you're a gangster, what's really good? Say you're a top then what's really good? Come so man, blood, what's really good?